How many times am I going to tell you fucking idiots? The earth is flat. Look at this. This is the earth, okay? It is flat. I don't care which way you spin it. It's full. Apparently the earth is delicious. Hey everyone, how you doing? Today I finally got finished watching Logan Paul's documentary. It quotes, but it's actually a movie. And uh... I actually thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I, I genuinely, really, really enjoyed it. Now, I think my favorite thing about the whole Logan Paul movie was the fact that he simultaneously managed to piss off flat earthers he managed to troll the internet, that is the YouTube community, that is everybody else. But he also managed to create the greatest romance film ever seen since The Notebook. Honestly, this movie was fantastic. We had four horrible acting. Now when this video surfaced, people thought it was either one of two things. They thought number one, he had gone crazy, he had cracked, he had been punched way too many times in the head by KSI and he had officially lost his mind. That was Option number one. Option number two was he was planning one of the biggest troll jobs of the absolute century. Uh, but it turns out it was all one big joke and it was a joke that everybody fell for. The movie begins with Logan Paul in his backyard being Logan Paul filming really, really funny, epic 12 year old content. Yeah, great, whatever. Then he has a conversation with the friend who wears a cap backwards. And this friend basically says out of nowhere, um, hey, don't you think that the earth is flat? Like I'm saying that like NASA is telling us lies and all the evidence is there. And I'm starting to believe that I'm a flat earther. And Logan Paul was like, um, uh, what? So after this, to keep a long story short, it follows a sequence where his friend Mike is slowly trying to convince Logan that the Earth is flat. Logan thinks, maybe I have to go out and do my own research. Maybe I have to go seek the facts for myself to make my own decision on this matter. And all of these sequences were the most cheesiest BS you could ever, ever dream of. And I was watching it the whole time and I was thinking, what the fuck am I watching? So then we start to get to one of the best parts of the actual film. He sits down and he interviews kids and he basically asks the kids, is the earth flat? What do you think? Do your parents love you? Are you sub to me? Have you bought any of my Logan Paul merch? And uh, I don't know, you want to go grab a vodka lemonade later? Oh, wait, you're a kid. I can't. And like one of the best parts was one of the kids... He is presented with a globe and Logan Paul says, uh, how does this make you feel? And the kid, without hesitation, just whacks the globe on the ground and that's it. That's the moment where Logan's like, oh man, maybe this little kid is onto something here. Maybe the earth really is flat. Man, what's happening? And throughout this whole scene, he was genuinely funny. I have to say, he was very funny. He wasn't like his typical, oh, hey guys, I'm Logan Paul. He was just, it was just funny. I was sitting there going, okay. I, I see you. Maybe we are actually onto something here. Not even like two minutes into the video, we were able to quickly surmise that this was a parody. This was all made as a joke, either to troll people, to piss them off, or just to poke fun at everybody else. So Logan, after being convinced by an elementary school kid, he decides that he needs to get to the bottom of it once and for all. And what better way to do so than by traveling to the National Flat Earthers Conference in... Some place in America, no idea. I actually forget where this fucking thing was. And all throughout, there's a whole bunch of goofy, stupid stuff going on. And I'm just like, man, this is so dumb. He actually goes as far as meeting the CEO of the Flat Earth International Conference, Robbie Davidson. Interesting looking man. He looks like a 80s super villain. And they were all buddy, buddy. Robbie Davidson was like, oh, hello, fellow 22 uh, year old. Yes. Uh, how, how good is this flat earth we live on? Uh, rock on tubular. Are we smoking some weed later? Then they have the conference and people talk and some other stuff happened. And Logan's like, wow, I think I'm convinced. I think the earth is actually flat. And then comes by far the best part of this entire movie. At the conference, he actually goes around and he interviews various flat earthers. <laughs> amazing. Honestly, amazing. I laughed so fucking hard throughout this entire thing. I thought it was brilliant. 
I came to the idea of Flat Earth in the beginning of 2015. So when I watched my first, um, it was a six hour presentation, so it gave me a lot of information for about- For sure, yeah. way more than like the centuries way more than of, I of needed. research. Yeah, yeah been absolutely. Sure. Aren't you kind of young to be a Flat Earther? I mean, it's facts. Like, I can think of myself. I'm almost 15. Oh, yeah. yeah. When people call you, Wait, like crazy or whatever, like what do you what do you say to them? I don't really feel like I have to defend myself. You don't understand why there's millions and millions of people that are now questioning everything that these space agencies have been showing us. And I know why is that? If NASA will lie about the, like about the globe and like about the moon landing and stuff, then what else would everyone lie about? Have you seen Jurassic World? Yes. And the Universal logo, when they- It's in the a spinning beginning. ball in the beginning. How, how else could they have gotten that shot? They're either composites or, you know, animations yeah. or artistic renderings, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Like face, you, like face tune. Yes. My dad has always been a truth seeker, yeah. right? He's been telling me since I was a little kid that we didn't go to the moon. He knew about 9-11 right away. He knew, he knew about 9-11. Like that it was not the real story, the man was a genius. So we're in my room and he like pats me on the shoulder, oh yeah, by the way, the earth is flat. Oh, of course, yeah. Of and course. I'm like, okay, whatever. So you don't believe in the globe? I, it's not that I don't believe in the globe, I absolutely know that we don't live on a spinning globe. You know it. There's no, there's no, so there's let me no ask possible you this. way. The fact that I'm drinking out of a cylindrical cup with the world map on it, does that upset you? Sure. It didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense how we didn't fly off or how the water stuck to the ball. My friend actually conducted an experiment where he like he blew up a globe and then he drove a, an RC car off it. And it, it right, why aren't we flying off? Yeah. Do you acknowledge that other planets are around? I don't acknowledge that other planets are planets. We don't live on a planet, we live on a plane. What we see in the sky are just little lights. They're very close. The only pictures you've seen of planets come from two sources. One is NASA and the other one is Disney. And at this point, Disney is more credible than NASA. My brother was on a Disney show got fired. So that just, I mean, to me that proves like, there's something going on. Don't laugh at this. <laughs> what the hell? Just his ability to remain completely deadpan throughout this entire situation. Honestly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but props to you, Logan Paul. You are a funny, funny man. Because you know, in his head, he is going through this whole thing and he is thinking, these people are so far gone, I want to know how far I can push them into saying stuff that will make people's hair curl. It is that stupid. And he did succeed in doing that. The grass can't debate these facts if he wanted to. Earth is flat and stationary, bro. That means it doesn't move. When confronted with the proof, liars get uncomfortable. Hardcore. Totally. I'm all in. You don't feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating, do you? We don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. That's what it does. Complete the following song lyric. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round but, and round. But the earth isn't round. True. So, so you say. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Mm. Hello. Hi. Then he goes to actually sit down with Robbie Davidson. They have a chat. And at the end, Logan is like, I actually think I'm a flat earther. And Robbie Davidson had this look on his face. Like, if you're trying to tell me this guy is not a super villain. And he just realized that he had James Bond eating out of the palm of his hands. Well, then um, look at his face. So he meets this girl, right? And she's a flat earther. She's an Australian girl. You know, very nice, very pretty looking girl. They hit it off straight away. They go out to dinner. They lay on a picnic blanket. They stargaze. And so naturally after the first date, he is completely in love. He's telling his friends about it. He says, I'm going to marry her. I love her so much. The earth is so flat. Oh my God. Something in my pants is not flat right now. I'm so over the moon. I am head over heels in love. And for some weird reason, the only person to actually talk some sense into Logan Paul is the short guy who is just with them the entire time. And, um... I don't, I don't know who he is, and I'm not sure why he's there. Um, yeah, who is, who is that guy? Is that little Jake Paul? I, I actually I have no idea. So at this part of the movie, they start to tell two different stories. They're telling the story about how Logan Paul is in love. He has found somebody he wants to spend the rest of his life with. All the while, he is actually slowly losing his best friend. The friend man who convinced him that the earth was flat. It's a real emotional conundrum that Logan Paul is going through here. He is blissfully unaware that he is losing one of his closest friends. All the while, he's growing closer 
closer to a girl he met yesterday. It's such a beautiful love story, but I have a feeling that there is tragedy soon to come in this fateful tale of young, dumb, stupid, flat earth fucking love. It all makes so much sense and I'm like, like I feel, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Like I can see, I can see clearly. Why are you talking like that right now? I guess Casey's really rubbing off on me. This love affects him so much, he starts to talk with an Australian accent. <laughs> and of course, what Logan Paul video would be complete without a cheap plug of his merchandise and a crappy, oh, so bad, such a terrible, terrible SoundCloud quality rap music video. Like, why do you have to shoehorn that in? Ever since my birth, my dick got mad girth. I'm chilling with my people talking about that flat earth. Last night, your boy had some sex with a nice girl. Did the Titanic really hit an iceberg? That's when I thought I couldn't love this movie anymore. Those two things happen in like the span of two minutes. Like he is so aware of what he is doing. He is so on brand. He understands what's going to tick people off. He's, he knows what is going to make people's blood boil. And he did it in this movie. And I was living for it every single second of the way. Then towards the end, we actually had the film footage of the video that went viral a few months ago of him at the Flat Earthers conference. So there you go. That was what that whole thing was about. It was all for the movie. Who would have guessed? And oh my God, we get the big twist. It turns out that his friend Mike was not actually a Flat Earther. He was just playing a prank on Logan. And it just so happens that Logan believed him to the point where he is now completely hypnotized. And Mike is like, man, this is it. Friendship over. Mike, Mike, no longer best friends with Logan. Um, now I'm friends with this short guy. And then again, Logan Paul has to get his shirt off in a fit of rage. Again, what Logan Paul video would be complete without him flexing his big white boy muscles on brand, on brand. And then he proved that he really did get the last laugh because he spliced in all these videos of YouTubers critiquing him and saying that he's an idiot and he's cracked and everything he does is so dumb. Well, I, I guess it's not really that dumb because you reported it as news and it turns out it it was all fake and for a fake movie so maybe um you guys maybe you guys are the stupid ones so after we see logan paul's very tight naked bare bottom we actually fast forward a month later mike and logan are both interviewed apparently they're not talking anymore they're not friends anymore and logan has actually asked the question are you still a flat earther and uh he, he said no that's fucking stupid <laughs> No, I don't think the earth is flat. I think that's the dumbest shit I've heard in my life. And then again, for some reason, he just had to shoehorn in another fake rap video. The fact that he went to the effort to make two separate rap videos for one piece of content, amazing. I, I, I admire the hustle and I love it. I love it. And that was it. I was actually really sad that this thing ended after 50 minutes. I would happily sit through hours of content like that. Who would have guessed Logan Paul in criticism? But people have been comparing him to Shane Dawson because Shane Dawson does these really, really good documentaries and people are saying, well, Logan Paul, you're just clout chasing. You're just trying to copy Shane because you realize your content, it's not that great. So you're doing something that other people are doing in the hopes of being as successful and as rich as them. But I'm starting to think that he has established a new niche for himself, one that has not really been done for YouTube it is a big YouTuber being self-aware and creating a mockumentary style video that makes fun of everybody, that trolls everybody, and makes him look like a comic and makes him look like a comic genius. No, no, so he's not trying to be Shane Dawson at all. I think he has actually found something that he can do on his own. I think he's found his new niche. And I think that if we get more videos like this, I am gonna be a very happy person in 2019. Logan Paul, whilst I still think you're a bit of a dirtbag and you have done some really stupid stuff in the past and no doubt you're gonna to continue to do stupid stuff in the future, um, you've won me on this. You've got a fan, my friend. Now, don't fuck it up because you're gonna lose a fan real quick if you do, okay? 
Speaking of fans, I would like to thank all my fans for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please, 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 slap a like on the video. Drop a comment down below. What did you think of this video? Did you watch the Logan Paul movie? If you did, drop your feedback down below. Let's talk shit, brah. Tell me what you think. If you think you have a friend out there that's super dope and that love this channel because I'm also super dope, by all means, share it with them. Tell them to sub and ring the bell and I'm doing gun gestures with my fingers. I'm not part of a gang. I sh don't mean that. If I offend anyone by that, I apologize. Yeah, I don't know. That was, that was it. Um, that was a great movie. Um, I think I'm a little bit stupid now that I watched it and I'm starting to feel a little bit, um, fucked up in the head, but, huh? but, um, huh? that's YouTube for you. Huh? Okay. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs>